हेलो नमस्ते सलाम वालेकुम सत वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन विथ योर वाश ऑफ एट वारेवा डॉट काम इन टूडे सेशन वी गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू यूज अ प्रेजर कुकर एंड मेक ए वेरी नाइस ऑनियन एंड टमाटो बेसिक ग्रेवी यू नो वंस यू मेक दिस ग्रेवी यू कैन यूज दिस ग्रेवी इन मेनी प्रिपरेशन स्पेशली प्रेजर कुकर इज सच ए होम कुक्स बेस्ट फ्रेंड बट नवे डेज ईवन इन द रेस्टोरेंट स्पेशली फॉर मेकिंग स्टॉक्स दे आर यूजिंग प्रेजर कुकर because pressure cooker retains the best flavors but still the size of the pressure cookers available are a concern for restaurant cooking but for home cooking i'm telling you pressure cooker is a blessing you know lot of people just use pressure cooker for boiling you know potatoes or boiling dal but you can make fantastic gravies curries and many preparations using pressure cooker so dear friends let's go ahead and learn how to make this uh, onion gravy with tomatoes for this onion tomato gravy you know i'm going to take some oil as i told you earlier the stage what you cook the onions determines the flavor of the curry now i've got this uh, oil hot in this i'm going to add onion okay but today i'm going to saute these onions not fry them and that is the reason why the amount of oil to the amount of onions i added is slightly less you know the another benefit of using pressure cooker in making gravies is the amount of oil you add can be little less so after sauteing it little bit just add some salt this salt will uh, pull out the moisture that is there in this onions now in this add ginger garlic paste just uh, mix this and now we going to also add tomatoes you know today i'm going to add 1 is to 1 like if i take 1 kg of uh, onions we going to add 1 kg of tomatoes okay and look at this now because we are cooking the pressure cooker when we are done all this ingredients will be mashed see if you are cooking it separately this is going to take lot of time but in a pressure cooker this will cook in no time you know if you are cooking normally i would add turmeric in the oil but if i am putting in the pressure cooker even adding like this will you know make sure that the turmeric is nicely cooked add chili powder for this much gravy that much chili powder is required coriander powder equal quantity i have taken 1 kg of onion 1 kg of tomatoes for that 1 cup of chili powder 1 cup of uh, coriander powder but cumin seed powder do not add too much because in some of the gravies it goes well some doesn't so add just 1 tablespoon of uh, cumin powder and now just mix all of this because there is so much moisture in all of these ingredients we don't need to add any water do not worry the moisture that is coming from these onions and tomatoes will be good enough to create a steam and pressure so that the all of these ingredients will be nicely cooked you know especially in homes where both wife and husband work you can make this gravy in advance and keep it in the refrigerator i never recommend that you cook the vegetables along with this gravy and keep it and eat for 3 4 days because the flavor everything will be lost but you can have this gravy ready you can put this in the refrigerator every day take little bit of this gravy and add fresh vegetables and cook your favorite dish that way the dish will be nice flavorful and also give nice and fresh flavors and now i am going to put the lid on and make sure the weight is perfect and you put the gasket everything is intact and now we going to cook this for at least 15 to 20 minutes this may take give around 6 to 7 whistles do not worry you know put it on a little slow flame then high flame and this will become a fantastic gravy in no time you know one thing you have to understand with using the same ingredients the gravy the flavor the taste will change in another session i'm going to show you how to make bunawa that means nicely fried kind of roasted onions and then add tomatoes and cook and those kind of gravy goes with meats and other kind of preparations which i am going to show in another session but even this gravy you can use in meats but it gives a different flavor i'll explain you when i make the dish you know after around 5 uh, 6 whistles make sure even if the pressure cooker has cooled down just lift the whistle that way it will release the lock of the pressure cooker you know do not get tempted if there is too much pressure sometimes it can blast your face uh, just always release the weight and then open the lid and now look at this this is fantastic gravy look at this and all the onions are uh, more or less uh, mashed up but still 
you know you can see this onions just by mixing it once or twice this will become like a nice gravy but if i cook this onions in the bunao method and put in the pressure cooker i'm telling you you will see a very silky gravy but this gravy is fantastic and you can make numerous dishes by using this gravy in the future sessions i'm going to show you various recipes using this gravy but this is a fantastic method foolproof method and all the masalas everything will be cooked nicely there is no chance of uh, you know burning any side and the flavors are fantastic now you know this is one of the basic gravy what we call mother gravies that means you can modify this and make many other gravies using this but you know you can make this you know transfer this into smaller containers and only when it is nicely cool down you can put a lid and you can put in the refrigerator and you can use this for a couple of days if you put in the freezer i'm telling you you can keep there for like even for 15 days and whenever you want thaw it and use and you will make any fantastic dishes with it you know when you cook the chili powder the cumin powder the coriander powder especially in the pressure cooker these masalas give a better consistency to the gravy than cooking it separately dear friends you know nice flavor even it is so nice that i can just mix it with rice and eat it like a nice uh, onion tomato curry also but this gravy is destined to become wonderful curries uh, if you want to reduce the chili powder you can always do it hmm even though i see small uh, traces of onion and tomato when you put it in the mouth they literally melt away wow this is fantastic dear friends i hope you enjoyed today's session of learning how to make this onion tomato gravy specially the most simplest method in pressure cooker but do not forget vareva is all about inspiring others to cook so post your recipes and cooking tips at vareva.com so others can benefit from your great cooking thank you today we are going to use red onions that is what mostly in india we use for making the gravy and that kind of onions make the gravy taste so different see the red onions are much sweeter and mild so when you make the gravy the taste is much better when you use red onions and also the stage what you cook these onions to makes lot of difference in the kind of gravy you get if you boil the onions and make a gravy the gravy is slightly different when you fry the same onions and make the gravy they develop much more sweeter and distinct flavors that's what is fantastic for lot of indian curries you know our good red onions are widely used all over the world but because they are slightly sweeter and milder they are very popularly used in salads and salsas and so on because they also give good color for the salads whereas the yellow onions or what we call spanish onions which were very popularly used as cooking onions all over the world and they have a much stronger and pungent flavor in our everyday cooking we may be using five six varieties of onions like shallots small onions big onions you know there are over 300 varieties of uh, species of onions that are available and when you cut the onions you know putting in the refrigerator is a bad idea if you are not using the same day because many times in the restaurants whenever we chop lot of onions and keep it after one or two days if you make the gravy instantly the color of the gravy is going to be black so i always recommend people to buy onions of different sizes so if you are using onion to make little extra gravy you can use the bigger onions but if you are using them for small preparation then you can cut the small onions and avoid cutting the onions and putting the refrigerator but a lot of people sometimes they cut the top and the bottom of the onions and they leave it in the refrigerator so that when they cut the onions they don't get the tears in the eyes but in fact i have a video whole session to tell you how to avoid the tears of the onions but the best thing is get used to it there is another simple technique uh, you can do to avoid tears is you know the most of the sulfur content the white watery stuff that comes from the onions the sulfur content is mainly near the roots what you can do is you can put the knife in and then carve out the root part that way much part of the tear giving uh, moisture gets out from the onion once you learn the essence of uh, ingredients and their cooking i'm telling you you will be fantastic chef and any food you cook it will be super and super tasty